welcome back. They started off just as kind of faces out in the crowd out there, but their personalities, energy, and a little shtick turned them into celebrities in their own right. Fireman Ed, of course, with the Jets, Ronnie Wu with the Cubs, the Black Hole in Oakland, the Dog Pound in Cleveland. Well, now the Quad Cities might have its own type of well-known super fan, one it took a little work to find. Sometimes in life, or in a crowd, someone stands out. Well, I got about five of my friends that uh, pick me up every year above the crowd at the fair. Uh, just trying to get a shout-out from the artists. And at the Great Mississippi Valley Fair the past few years, that someone has been Herb Farber. His nickname, The American. A few years ago, my friends started holding me up at the fair, and uh, that guy, everybody just coming up like, hey, you're that guy, pointing at me like, oh my god, we love what you do. And, the headlining performers passing through town and thousands in the crowd look forward to seeing him at all the concerts each summer, always shirtless, snapping pictures as Herb gets hoisted in the air. Admittedly, not always an easy task. I got uh, my big buddy Alex. He's uh, definitely a... Big asset to the lift. <laughs> It'd been a bit of an inside joke until Sunday. And country superstar Jake Owen picked Herb out of the crowd. Not that it was too hard to do. Twice during the concert, Jake had actually stopped once in the middle and once right at the end uh, when my friends had picked me up and said that he wanted to take a picture. That picture went viral on Facebook and Twitter. Jake Owen, the band, and in the background, Farver in all his glory. My Facebook blew up the following day with several <laughs> friend requests and uh, messages from people. Some girl had messaged me, said she didn't know me and knew that I didn't know her, but she thought that I should see it, that I actually made it on a page on Instagram. My picture got put up on a page on Instagram. Are you even on Instagram? I'm not. not <laughs> I don't have a clue what it is, but I'm on there, so... When we tried to hunt down who he was this week, a mystery to us, messages about Herb started rolling in. Turns out the guy who stood out in the crowd is a stand-up guy all year long. Do you know who Sharon Simpson is? Um, I, I, think, I, I think so, yes. Yeah. Well, Sharon Simpson sent a note and said that, uh, I just wanted to tell you that Herb is an awesome young man. My oldest son's in a wheelchair, always goes to the fair. He sometimes has trouble getting down to the track if we've had too much rain. Every year, Herb, or Bubba, as we call him, and his buddies are right there waiting to help Matt with whatever he needs. Not only is he an all-around fun guy, he is a true, caring American. We love him. Pretty nice note. Yeah, it was very unexpected, but thank you, and <laughs> we just like to do what we can to help people out. More than just a face in the crowd, a good guy worth more than just his 15 minutes of fame. And Lord knows he'll be back for that, too. That take you'll be doing this again next year? Oh, absolutely. As long as I can do it, I'll, I'll be up there. <laughs> you can take comfort knowing the fact that Herb's going <laughs> right. to be back next year. Now, Herb the American has got a fan page on Facebook. He wanted me to make sure that people knew that that was going on. <laughs> He's also an EMT and a volunteer firefighter in his hometown of Matherville, a larger-than-life personality that you saw there. His favorite beer is Bush Light, and he loves to eat steak. So if you see him out and about tonight, send a couple of those his way. Fantastic story.